hi just a little background about me my name is lovely peaches i love to give men aids especially married men so they can go home and transfer to their wives i love spreading stds that's why i love to go raw sometimes i let them put a condom on and then i let them start feeling good and then i'll take that condom right off them and let them go on me raw and bam you're infected so there's some things about me and today i know people are jealous of me i have more stds than you could ever even imagine of you could never keep hating and keep being jealous because you wish you had stds doing keep it keep them on keep them on keep them yes peaches <laughs> Y'all tell me what type of man kick a female out. What kind of man kicks a female out? He's in apartment 318. Don't forget that shit. 318. Y'all wait, wait until I leave before y'all send anybody over here too. My ride coming. And when my boyfriend come over here, he gonna kill you, bitch. Go over here to shoot your shit up. I don't wanna hear shit. He at 318. I'm going to say it again. 318. Lovely Peaches, a.k.a. Brittany Johnson. She's 20 years old. And she has been in the media several times for so many controversies. Instagram and TikTok have kicked her off the platform. But yet she's able to create another account. Lovely Peaches created a song and she went viral. The song is called Itching and Burning where she explains how she feels with an STD. People even recreated the song. Itching and burning, itching and burning, itching and burning. Stanky fishy, stanky fishy, stanky fishy. I got STDs. They make my coochie. She even has brand deals. Let's play a clip of her sponsoring a link to scam people to get a free iPhone. Hey, lovely peaches, thank you. For what? Uh, I clicked on your link in your bio and got the brand new iPhone for Christmas. Times are tough and I couldn't afford one on my own, so I'm very grateful for you. Oh, you're welcome. I love doing stuff like this for people. Question though. I was telling people about your link and was wondering how many more phones are left. That's actually a really great question. Okay, so there's 10 iPhones left. I'm currently buying 10 people the brand new iPhone that just came out. 10 more people. Click the link in my bio. Hurry because they're running out fast. Link in my bio. Peaches loves you. Mwah. The last time that I talked about Lovely Peaches was back in April 2020. And there has been so much that has happened between April to now. Um, just to summarize, uh, she's been in jail. Um, her fans had did a crowdsourcing to get her out and post her bail. And she's back on the internet and just like nothing happened. So I do want to kind of give you kind of the cliff notes of what has been taking place since April and why we're talking about this. Your children might be following her. She has a teen fan base. So the teenagers are watching this content and it's extremely dangerous. There has been videos where she was committing sexual acts with people and she was posting that while she was live. She has exposed her body to minors on social media platforms such as Instagram and it just never stops. And so there's a deeper issue with Brittany, and we don't want to touch into that in this episode, but more so this is educational for the parents to understand that this type of behavior is happening on social media. So you need to have conversations with your children on what's appropriate and what's not appropriate. Because you should see the comments and they're saying all hail to our queen. Media. Media. 
13 years old. Love sharing my story. Yes, I'm a prostitute and I be sucking that dick. What's your body count? Let's see. I lost my virginity at 13. He's 35 years old. So, honestly, I don't know. I have sex every night. I'm always sucking dick. I'm always getting it. Next question, please. <laughs> Lovely Peaches was arrested in Georgia after she posted videos of herself abusing her six-month puppy, Max. Lovely Peaches filmed herself choking, kicking, and spraying perfume in the dog's eyes. She even posted a picture with the puppy hanging by the neck from a coat hanger. Many people called the police on the 20-year-old, and the police tracked her down to a Motel 6 in DeKalb County the following day. I mean, is there a reason you do what you do? So someone will sign you and you can live good? Okay. All right. I mean, I, like I said, I, I, mean, I, I don't... Extension. You know, I'm going to do life for me, my dad, and my daughter. Yeah. No, there's nothing wrong with that, but with some of the antics you pulled on, on Instagram, it's just, it's, it's not normal. You know, but that's why I have so many followers. You only have 459 followers. No, I don't. It's a fan page. It's a fan page? You have 1.1 million followers. How much money do you get from Instagram? Um, I have sponsorships. I can make like a thousand a week. A thousand a week? All right. And that's, that's your account. Yeah. Well, we'll knock on your door. Animal control. control. We'll be here to talk to you. So, like I said, a group of supporters crowdsourced for her to post her bail. She was in jail for about a week, and she even had video content that she recorded while she was in jail. Watch this. Hi guys, it's Lovely Peaches, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Period. I'm in jail. It's not a bitch. A bad bitch. Anyway, Nicki Minaj is the queen of rap. She just left here. Yeah. If you wanted to know about Max the puppy, he's fine. The local animal shelter took him in and she released all custody rights. During this investigation, she is banned from having any type of pets. Some of your teens admire Lovely Peaches. And some of the comments that I read on her page is quite scary. Here's just some of the content that is shared on her page so that you're aware of what's happening online. Uh I'm going to include my TikTok on the screen because TikTok deleted my account again. TikTok does not like black women on their platform. So they don't feel like black women should be on there. So I'm going to include my TikTok because I had to make a new one. You already know how TikTok is. They all like black people. So I'm going to include it on there. Um, so here comes the video that I have been requested for over a week. Okay, I was arrested January 22nd. And I was released February 5th. So people want me to talk about my experience in jail because that was my first time going. And you know, I feel like it comes with being famous. Like people are going to hate on you. That's where they want to see famous people because they bitter. And I feel like it just comes with fame. So I was really like tripping over it. I was like, okay. This is just what comes with being famous. Like every famous person has to go through it at some point. We just had a conversation about you wearing clothes in the lot and you just booty ball butt naked like a bitch coming out the goddamn oven. Peach From my background search on Brittany Johnson, she has been through a lot in her childhood and there's a lot of trauma there that needs to be addressed. I pray for her life, her mind, and her spirit. And social media has allowed us to see all of these people, watch their life, what they decide to do, 
with the time that God has given them. I just want you to be intentional parents. This internet is a very dangerous place. And there were young teenagers that watched grown people have sex on Instagram. You have a influencer such as Lovely Peaches that has exposed her body to minors on these social media platforms. This is what we need to have addressed. Social media is a dangerous place for our children if you have no idea what they're doing. And to my Gen Z, I understand that you grew up with technology and you're more savvy than some of the adults. But this was all a setup. We are basing validation based on vanity metrics. And you have people having nervous breakdowns based on the amount of likes and shares that their content has online. Think about that. Truly think about the kids that have nervous breakdowns. Think about the kids that have to delete their picture because they feel as though they don't have enough likes. Think about the children where they're in a home where the only type of validation they get is on social media. And just imagine the codependency of that validation of that cell phone if it's not deeply rooted in the home. We have to do better and we have to hold everybody accountable. We need to stop watching this content because we're curious so that we can get a laugh and realize that there's a deeper issue here. The desire and search for attention on social media, otherwise known as clout, is gotten out of control to the point where students and children are overdosing on Benadryl and you have grown adults put in Gorilla Glue in their hair. If we don't realize that social media is destroying us, we can't move forward with our kids and our kids are struggling right now. So please check the cell phone. Please be intentional with your children and let's uplift our young kings and queens. With the surge of gun violence that's happening in our cities, we have to take our kids back. So with that being said, thank y'all for tuning in to this episode. If you would like to be a Patreon, there's my link. It's in the description. And thank y'all so much for y'all support and y'all love. Uh, this is Bianca Goolsby, otherwise known as Petty B. And thank y'all for tuning in to the underground with Teaching for the Culture.